trouble as angry youth of Oyo burnt a trailer full of cattle. According to Sahara reporters, the incident occurred at Challenge Junction along Saki Township Road. According to residents of the area, the accident was caused by the ongoing road construction in the area. Vehicles are fond of wrong way driving in the area. The driver of the truck conveying the cattle to an unknown location from Saki was driving recklessly before hitting the young boy. Raji was said to be on a motorcycle before he was hit by the truck transporting dozens of cows out of Saki town. The driver of the truck ran away immediately. In retaliation, the youth in the area set the truck ablaze with the cows inside. The incident led to tension between the residents of the area and headsmen suspecting to be from the house of Fulani origin. Many residents of the area are currently living in fear because of the rumor of another attack by headsmen. They called upon the concerned authority to quickly swing into action to avoid bloodshed in the town. There is an ongoing crisis between headsmen and the Amotek security unit in Oyo State. The security officers allegedly killed some innocent headsmen during their operation in Ibarapa, North local government area recently. The security unit also arrested about 43 headsmen with guns and other weapons on Monday evening. Many Nigerians have reacted to the action of the angry youths. Thank you for listening to this news. Hmm. At first, who is to be blamed? The blame, the, the youth are not to be blamed in any way. Reason being that the first issue began with the the truck driver that hit the little boy with the truck. Had him been the driver showed an atom of remorse by staying without running away or without escaping that at least would have helped on the long run that at least would have um, solved a little of the problem but what happened the driver has gone the driver disappeared despite the killing of the young boy and you think that the people will take it lightly? Definitely they won't now. They will want to do something to retaliate. So, I will say that it is the driver that asked for the attack and not the people. He asked for the attack. He wouldn't, he, he, they, they wouldn't have attacked him. They would have they would have just um, f look for a solution at least to, to see how the young boy will survive. But what happened? What happened? The driver has gone. So what did you now expect the youth to do? To be looking at the cows and the, tr and the truck? They have to set it ablaze. So that was what led to the tension in the community. That is one problem with these truck drivers. Most of these truck drivers, most of them are full and ease, and they are not learned. And they are very, very stubborn people. Very, very stubborn people. Can you imagine? Sometimes, when you're on the road driving, and you try to wave, wave to them to give you some space, I tell you that these people will behave as if they, don't, they didn't hear you. Because they are driving... Um, a, a truck so they believe that you that is handling a car we wouldn't want to be on a motion with them so they intentionally move ahead before you despite the fact that you have 
giving them a signal. You see that? So, these people, I don't know, they build like the animal that they rear. They build like the animal that they rear. And that is why they keep falling into one trouble or the other. See what they are putting themselves into. See what they are putting themselves into. So you tell me, you think that the people are going to take it lightly with them? Never. They will not take it lightly with them. They are bound to face, face it, face it, the, face it tough with them. They, they asked for it, and that's why they are getting it. Enough is enough. Can you imagine? You kill a, a, a young boy and you just ask on like that. Eh? So what they will not happen to your to your to your truck? I only pity the people giving them truck to drive. They are the one making the loss, not the people. Not the people at all. The people will only play their own role. Set the truck ablaze without anybody's interference. You understand? So that is what has what just happened. So my only um uh, uh, observation here is that though the stuff has really caused attention where um uh, the people in the community are now living in fear and um the ones running away from their residence are running away from the residence the one living their marketplace are living their marketplace so that is just the only disadvantage i see that that, that has really caused if not i'll say that those full needs really need to be dealt with they really need to be dealt with so this i will say they need the immediate presence of the Amotekun and the Nigerian security uh, securities to come to the aid of these people and do something concerning the this situation because the situation is getting tough and tough and tough by the day. So it needs an immediate attention and help. So without um speaking much concerning the matter i for one we appreciate it if you two can come in and air your own opinion concerning the issue okay do me free to um, to click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos thank you